Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to find the vertical height of an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has three equal side lengths. So let's have a look at the first example. So we're going to find the height of this equilateral triangle. So we're trying to work out the vertical height or the perpendicular height. So after this length here. So what you need to do then is you need to draw out a right angled triangle and use Pythagoras to find the height. Okay, so I'm just going to copy out this right angled triangle here again. <coughs> okay, so all the sides on the equilateral are four centimeters, so this length here would be four. Okay, uh, the length of the bottom edge was four, but we've only got half of it, so half of four is two. So what we've got is a right angle triangle and we just need to figure out the height of the triangle. Okay, so we can do this by Pythagoras because we have two side lengths and we need to calculate the third side. So to do this then we need to square the sides that we've got. So 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4. Now this length here is not the longest side, so we need to subtract these square numbers. So 16 take away 4 is 12, and then take the square root of 12. So we need a calculator for this bit. So square root of 12 is equal to... 3.5 to one decimal place. So let's move on to the second example then. So this time we've got an equilateral a side length 9 centimetres. So again we're asked to find the vertical height. So after this length here. Okay, so let's draw out the right angle triangle again. So we can use Pythagoras. So this length here is 9. Okay, so we've half the length along the bottom. So this one is 4.5. That's half of 9. And we just need to calculate the height here. So again, it's Pythagoras because we've got two sides. And we need to find the third side length in a right angle triangle. So if we square the two numbers that we've got, so 9 squared is 81. 4.5 squared, you probably need to calculate a 4. So 4.5x squared, that is 20.25. So we are working out the shorter side, so again we take away the squares. So 81 take away 20.25 is 60.75. And don't forget to square out the answer. And if we round it to 1 dp, we get 7.8 centimetres. So I hope you liked this video, if you did make sure you like and subscribe, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.